Today, I'm going to recap a 2007 action thriller film called Shot Em Up. A quick warning, there will be major spoilers ahead. A man Smith sits on a bench, ready to eat a carrot. A woman in a yellow coat runs past, chased by a man driving an old black Camaro. The carrot eater follows and stops the man from killing the woman inside an abandoned factory building by driving the carrot through the man's head. Suddenly, several other gun-shooting attackers arrive, and Smith fires back, killing several. The hero and the woman get to another room, where she gives birth. More men continue to attack, led by a balding, bespectacled man, Hertz. As Smith, the woman, and her baby try to escape, the woman is killed and Smith flees with the baby. Stopping in a washroom, Smith has a fight with a well-dressed hitman, leads him alive. On a bus, he uses his sock to make a cap for the newborn baby. Smith then leaves the baby in a park on a rotating ride. As a bystander arrives to pick up the infant, she is shot by Hertz from long range using a sniper rifle. Smith manages to rescue the baby and takes off again. He goes to a church, which is actually a brothel. There he finds Donna Quintano, a lactating wet nurse hooker, and offers her $5,000 to look after the baby she refuses. Hertz fondles the dead mother's breast and realizes the baby will need milk. He decides to find a lactating hooker and soon arrives at Donna's. He tortures her for info on Smith, who then returns. Smith shoots Hertz and some henchmen and escapes stealing a BMW. He then gets upset at a Mercedes driver who doesn't signal lane changes and rams the other car. Hertz is still alive and calls someone for 50 more men. In a downtown area, Smith tries to buy bullets with some change and a blood donor check. Donna earns some cash by giving a man a BJ in an alley. Smith takes Donna and the baby to his place, a loft in a nondescript industrial building. The door lock is activated by a rat. Driving with two assistants, Hertz arrives at the same building. Apparently Hertz was an FBI forensic behavior consultant and knows what people will do. In the loft apartment, Smith fashions a diaper from a newspaper and decides to call the baby Oliver, as in Twist. Smith and Donna notice the baby calms down when watching heavy metal rock on TV and cries when a politician speaks on another channel. Suddenly, dozens of attackers arrive. Donna escapes down a dumbwaiter as Smith and the baby escape in a wildly stylized hail of bullets. Hertz and his henchmen give chase with dogs, but Smith eludes them by using the baby's diaper as a decoy. Smith decides the baby got used to heavy metal music while in the womb, and they go to the local metal club. They go upstairs and find dead men in the office, as well as a photo of three women in yellow dresses. One was the baby's mother. Next door, Smith and Donna overhear a suit, talking on the phone about the dead women. They then find a lab room with a fridge full of samples from one donor. Smith suspects the babies are being used for someone's bone marrow transplants. Smith, Donna, and the baby return to a hotel room. Smith decides to wait and watch TV, having called all the major news outlets with the scoop. Donna is saddened by the memory of her own child. Smith and Donna kiss and have sex. They are interrupted by several SWAT team type gunmen, but Smith shoots them all as he stays coupled with Donna. Smith brings Donna and the infant to an armory, planning to put the two into an M24 tank for safety. He gives her a weapon, then causes a distraction by spanking a woman scolding her child to allow Donna to get inside. Smith loads up to go to the Hammerson gun works. Hertz and Hammerson discuss a British gun whiz as Smith lurks close by in the gun factory warehouse. Once again, a wild gunfight erupts and Smith and Hertz trade verbal barbs. Hertz reveals he knows Smith's wife was killed in a fast food place. Smith goes into action using several automatic weapons he has rigged to fire with strings. Back at the tank, Smith explains to Donna that Hammerson is the rich guy involved. In a newspaper, he notices the front page story of Senator Rutledge and realizes Rutledge is the one who needs the baby, and his firearms bill will put Hammerson out of business. On the street, the three are attacked by a black SUV. Smith takes the baby and jumps into a red BMW and a wild car chase starts. Smith takes out the SUV, but the baby falls out onto the road. A black van full of gunmen arrive, 
Smith shoots them all, but Hertz arrives in his limo and drives over the baby, but it is only a doll and tape recorder. Smith calls the senator's aide from the earlier washroom fight, asking for a meeting. The two men meet in an airport washroom and they go up into the senator's campaign charter jet. Smith confronts the ailing politician. As they talk, Smith notices white dog hair lint on the other man's pants. He grabs Rutledge, realizing he had made a deal with Hammerson. Hammerson and Hertz come from the rear of the plane. Smith takes Rutledge hostage in the plane's cargo hold. He tells the senator that killing Rutledge will ensure Congress passes the anti-gun bill, then shoots him in the head. Smith bails out with a parachute chased by attackers. They have a gunfight in midair. Smith manages to push the senator's aide into the blades of a helicopter. On the ground, a wounded Smith observes the body parts and dead bodies. He collapses in an industrial building. As he wakens, Hertz is standing over him with a gun. Donna walks warily in front of a church. A beaten Smith is dragged into a basement den. As Hammerson watches, Hertz breaks Smith's fingers, torturing him in order to learn where Donna and the baby are. Hertz explains that the senator's plane crashed, so their cover-up is underway. Meanwhile, Donna boards an old green bus to wherever. Hertz increases the violence and brings the scalpel towards Smith's eye. Smith suddenly manages to break free and kills the two henchmen and Hammerson. Smith staggers upstairs and collapses beside a fireplace. Hertz comes near to gloat, then notices Smith's hand in front of the fire, with bullets in between each finger pointed toward him. The heat causes the bullets to fire, and Hertz is shot in the chest. Not quite dead, Hertz rises, but finally Smith finishes him off. With heavily bandaged hands, Smith waits for the green bus in front of the church. He rides the bus full of hippies and gets off at an ice cream shop. Oliver the baby is there, safe. Donna is the waitress, and Smith kisses her. Suddenly, some scruffy, armed robbers break in. Smith is able to kill them all, using a carrot to help fire a gun with his bandaged hands.